Uh, but we're just going to do you a cheeky popcorn shrimp. I must confess, surrounded by all this, I'm not a foodie. My Mrs. Jane, bless her. Jane is a complete foodie. Loves all types of food, loves experimenting. She's an amazing cook. And she's actually, in the last five or six weeks, managed, after all these years, to persuade me to tentatively go into the kitchen and start experimenting. Well, are you just starting cooking? Well, no, not, not really. Watching her and showing an interest, <laughs> and for the first time, I, I roasted a chicken for the first time about six weeks ago. <laughs> After a few failures, but um, and, and how was it? Was it success? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, 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 I guess it was. If I'm honest. This is great. This yeah. is so simple to do, and it's right. it's what I love about it is it's like you know we can do it in a field. Mm. Thanks, madam. Okay, so we've just got some prawns, and we're just going to roughly mm. cut these up, and. Then what we've got is we've got some corn flour and some regular flour. Only Jane just... was here to see this. <laughs> you know what though, what you've got to do yeah. is get this one boxed off and then yeah, just yeah, yeah. go home and just... Yeah. Right, I'm yeah, just yeah. going to... I'll just do a wrap up with some shrimp. That would be so <laughs> awesome. Okay, so yeah. it's... And I, what I love about this, I don't know, so I think some chefs really trying to make food really convoluted and, and there's a place for that really expensive, intricate stuff. Yeah, well, I it think... really, you know, I'm a newcomer to it and I used to find the whole sort of food preparation thing quite intimidating. Exactly. I'm just, a, I'm just a regular bloke who's been weaned off of crap takeaway, <laughs> you know, yeah. but beginning to appreciate real wholesome food, fresh ingredients. Exactly. You know. And do you, do you find that sort of being, foods become more, more and more important it to you as you've got older and yeah it's, it's fair to say it's true to say it has for me i mean my, my skill is not mixing the pots in the pan and mixing the platters but, yeah. uh, you know, but. Do, and tell me do you because it's i've been speaking to a lot of musicians this weekend and a lot of them have said that um cooking is like making music for them yeah there's a lot of similarities what, what are those the detail preparation um using Fresh ingredients, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's an artisan skill, isn't it? You know, you need, you need a good memory. And yeah. I think it's, it's a, you can learn, like I'm learning to become a, a mechanical cook, but there are guys like yourself, I guess, like, like Jamie, you know, who just like, they took like a duck to water. It's a natural thing for them. Well, it's, it's a it's, form of self expression. But it's at the same, you see, because I think that we all start from that place where we're learning the skill. You yeah, learn yeah, yeah. how to play a guitar or you learn how to mix. Yeah. And then once you've re reached that competence level, that yeah. that um, unconscious co uh, competence, that's when you really start creating and yeah, yeah, doing absolutely. stuff. I, I don't have the confidence yet. I'm nowhere near that level where I'm able to invite friends or family around for my cooking. I'm going to keep my disasters private and secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Right, yeah. this is really cool. Yeah. We're taking some seaweed yeah. and uh, that's dried and we've got some chilies in there and we've okay. blitzed them together with a little bit of sugar. You've got your tempura batter, which is probably one of the healthiest yeah, batters that you can use. Yeah, yeah. That's quite tempura as well. And then, look how beautiful those are. Yeah. They're just... Coming up now, we're just going to discard the old ones. You can't do that in your kitchen, okay? I do. <laughs> okay, it just goes in there, and then you just press them around, toss them around in there. You know, I think I could actually learn to do that. <laughs> See, but this is. Can this... I get a copy of this video when it's done? <laughs> okay, so those bad boys are in there, and then. That simple, that quick. And then the effect, tell me what the effect is. How good are they? They look to die for. Wow. This is my food heaven, really. But I'm part of the shrimp. Good. And I've not tasted them done like this before. You know what I think, you see, I think what, for me what I like is this, is that you can do Popcorn shrimp that's either salty or sweet. That's the salty version with the seaweed. The sweet ones get some palm sugar and you just and some salt and pepper. And you've got really this, healthy for you, not millions of calories. It's well, it's not the healthiest, yeah, but, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Healthy pleasure. That's the attitude. Food and music. Sharing. Yeah, that's re, that's that's the way.
Eat your heart out, Shane. I'm sorry. This is lovely. <laughs> My um, music's nowhere near as good as your food, mate. Hey. <laughs> that's that's not the truth. That's very kind of you.